Good morning, everyone. Today, I have a couple of things to do, but later on today, I have an investigation to do at someone's house. It's going to be very interesting. Um, I met this person a while back when I, well, closer to when I first moved here. Anyways, um, there's strange things happening at their house, so. Me and Angie's going to head there tonight, and we are going to check things out and bless her house and sage her house. And, um, I don't know, just hopefully we can get rid of whatever's there. Because she's freaking out, and when her husband goes to work in the morning, she leaves. She goes to somebody else's house and stays gone all day long. So that's not good. You know, you got to feel comfortable in your own house, so it's not good. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of that. Right now, I have to run to the Dollar Tree. I have to get a couple of things. I have to pick, go go get Tyler, and then get back and get this get these kids and the family fed, so that we can, so Angie and I can take off and go tonight. So I will see you guys in a little while. Peace. Hello, everyone. Tonight, Angie and I are going to investigate someone's house. I got an email, and. This girl is terrified. She's got something going on and, in her house. Um, she had mentioned some stuff then, and she's really got stuff in her going on in her house. She's got stuff flying off the shelves. She's she's so scared that she almost got got a hotel room. So she asked me if I could come. Well, I told her yeah. I didn't want her to have to go get a hotel. I would come, you know, right away, and. Um, See, you know, see if we can bless Sage, um, put some holy water, um, do Angie's wishy woo woo stuff to try to get rid of whatever's in her house. She's she's just freaking out. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know, you know, what it is. She thinks she thinks maybe that it's a it's a mean spirit. I'm not sure. I haven't got too much into it with her. I don't know if she bought anything new lately. Maybe she picked something up off the side of the road. Maybe she picked up something at a yard sale that has something attached to it. So we are going to investigate. It's about an hour and 15, 20 minutes away. So we are on our way now and we're running late. Yeah. What's new? Let's go get rid of some evil spirits. <laughs> let's go do it. All right, guys, come along with us. Come on, let's go. Bye. Hello there. We are here at Rebecca and George's house and they are having some strange things happen in their house. We are going to do an investigation. We're going to do some EVPs and we are going to sage, bless, put some holy crosses in the door paths and we have our holy water. Angie has her sage and her witchy woo woo stuff. So we are going to take care of this house and we are going to get whatever's in here out. And then maybe in a couple weeks we will come back and see how things are going. So let's get started. We were the only ones home and I was taking a shower, minding my business, listening to music. And I had a blue, you know, the big box. It was heavy and it's connected to get and behind the sink. And it got tossed across my bathroom. Wow. And I'm like, what the heck? And I'm screaming for him. And You're in the shower by yourself in the bathroom. Yeah, in the bathroom. I'm like, are you messing with me? Stop doing that. And he comes, what? And he's washing the dishes. He's like, I'm in the kitchen. I'm like, you didn't do that. Who the hell did it? And it's just the bouncer in the room for my my daughter was flipped over. I heard a bang when I was using the bathroom. It flipped over. Things started flying off the shelf in the bathroom. Um, earlier you were vacuuming. The vacuum Did you get it to work? No. It won't work now. It won't work. I, yeah. <laughs> I what happened. Wow. I was listening to music earlier in the room. It shut off and it won't, it won't let me go back into YouTube. Oh my gosh. Um, I came out earlier, the couch was turned over, the, the pictures were put down. Like somebody forcefully put them down. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Which pictures? The one of my daughter, the one of her, uh, her son. So, I'm not Oh, sure. her son was put down, the kids. Yeah. So the kids were put down. Yeah, it's like, they were trying to get my attention. Wow. And... I'm not going to get too close on the kids' that? pictures, but... The kids' pictures were flipped over. This couch was flipped over. When you walked out of your room, right? Yes. When I came out, you know, to get ready, flipped over. All that That's was That's crazy. And, like, we would hear bangs and things started flipping over. And this has been going on for approximately a week. Mm -hmm. So, you think it could be your friend's... Um... It could be my friend's husband that passed away. Maybe he's trying to get a hold of her. 
I'm not sure. Is she coming here? She's moving to Florida today. But is she coming to your place? No, I'm not, she's not ready to open up to, to friends yet, but she's getting her life back over yeah. here and stuff like that. Wow. But, um, could be numerous of things. It could be because I'm on an Indian burial ground. Yeah, I definitely want to check that sign out and get, get some information on that. I tried to look it up and couldn't find nothing. So what we will do is we're going to do some EVPs and we are going to see who's here. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we are here at um, Rebecca and George's house. We are going to do some EVPs. We have Rebecca's spirit box. She said that she's tried to use it and she hasn't got very much through it. So we're going to try it tonight. If we don't get nothing from it, we're going to use mine. So I hope that dang thing wasn't blurry. It was. That's okay. So, okay. Okay, so are there any spirits in this room or in this house? Who's knocking things off the walls or off the counter? Who's flipping the pictures over? Did you say who flipped over the pictures? Who flipped the couch over today? Me. Me. What is your name? Who's me? Why are you doing these things? You're scaring her. Who was in my bathroom while I was taking a shower and knocked down my phone and the speaker? Is the spirit here a loved one of Rebecca or George? Are you buried in the Indian burial ground underneath of us? Why are you here? I don't know. Why are you scaring Rebecca? Do you have a message for her? Can you tell me your name?
Tell me who the spirit is connected to that lives in this house. Give me a name. your name. What do you want my mom for? What do you want? Who's knocking things off the shelves and flipping pictures over? What do you want from Rebecca? Because you're bored? Can you please stop? I think you left me, right? I can't Are you someone I know? Why did you flip the kids' pictures over? What are you asking me? I need you to leave this family alone. Can you do that? Are you someone I know? Yeah, whose attention are you trying to get? Are you here for me or for George? Okay. 
score good. It's not like it's a four hit. Do I know you? Yeah, you heard me. You heard that? Who are you? Are you here for George? Are you trying to contact Rebecca or George? Is that your name? Mm. Ruben, have you been trying to get my attention? What do you want from this family? Ruben is my brother's best friend. He died in a car crash. And he didn't get drinking in that blue martini. And he was, he was the sweetest person ever. But he was a jokester. But he passed away at the wrong time ago. I got him in. Why are you messing with this family? It seems like two different people coming in at once. One for George and one for Ruben, are you trying to get a hold of me? Did he say Sammy? That's my brother's name. Stop what? I'm posing on this. I don't know what it's doing. Are we in your way? Ruben, are you trying to warn me about my brother? I'm here to tell you to stop messing with this family. Okay. Are you trying to tell me something? George and Dad have a message for him. What's your message?
So only this month. I'll go away after this month, maybe. I'm not the Bahamas. Yeah, I was just trying to be looking at the time and like, is it 12 o'clock yet? Are you Halloween? only here because it's Halloween? <laughs> We're going to bless this house and we want all the evil spirits to leave. Are you going to leave this family alone like I asked? Okay, so we're going to turn it off for a minute here. What's their names? Uh, she said Mike. I could have What's said her middle Mike. name? Her middle name? I don't know. I don't think she has one. Yeah, What's his name? His name? Uh, Mike. Drake. The little boy's Mike too? Oh no, the Ali. 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 Because a couple of names come through when I ask uh -huh. who it was connected to in this house. It might not be connected to you. It might be connected to them. And it's scaring you. Before. It just said her name really creepy. But they don't, it said my name. Yeah, you could hear it real creepy. That. They don't experience anything at all. And they're never here. Do they believe in it? They probably know uh -huh. you. Do they believe in it? Breathe in it? Believe in this. No, he doesn't. So He's then it's not going to be open to it. They just close yeah. about it. Okay. No. I'm wondering. It's just me and him that it happens to. Nothing happens to them. But if it's connected to them and they're not paying attention... Me, I'm just laid back about no, it. No, because it, it's it's called my name out. And it's okay. trying to talk to me. It's okay. trying to get my attention. When it said me, that was pretty creepy. Okay, now, who creepy. has died in your family lately? Okay, my grandfather just passed away. Just when? But he, like, it's going to be, what, three weeks now? Three weeks oh ago. God, yeah. What was he, his name? George. George, okay, that's what you told me. He... English. He's not very fluent in English. He's more that wouldn't matter when you pass away, I don't think. He could speak English completely. I, I, I mean, wouldn't he, know. He spoke you to me. Don't hear in his head. In your head. Go to bed, baby. Okay. You feel better? Okay. Night, 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 sweetheart. Night. She is so cute. It's a beautiful hair. <laughs> so, anybody in your family passed recently? Recently? Well, within the last year or two. My grandma. What was her name? Dot. Dorothy. Dorothy Dot. Okay. 
Okay. And then I have my friend Coco. And that's your friend's he boyfriend? He passed away. Oh, no, ago. he passed away in 2013. Okay. But his anniversary just came up. 2003, okay. So. That. His name was Coco? Yeah. That was his name. Well, his name is Harif, but nobody okay. called him that. Did you see the couch flipped over? I was at work. Who flipped the couch back over? Me. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like oh, it wow. either. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I put it back over. I just looked at it like, Ugh, not again. And I just walked out, and then I couldn't get out of the house. That's what you said. You couldn't get I out couldn't, the door. I couldn't, like, I couldn't even open it. Wow. Somebody's still trying to get your attention. Like, so saying. then it's more or less probably connected to you. So you lost yeah. Sierra. Yeah, but that uh, didn't sound like. And there was that a, sounded evil. The one, yeah. yeah, it did sound evil. But I think it's more than one though, because I heard a girl's voice and a guy's voice. What's your middle name? Marie. Oh my God! It said Marie, clear as day. I wonder if it said Rebecca in front of it. Nobody ever calls me Marie, though. Okay, but that's a sign. It could be, even though I'm Marie, mm -hmm. that could be a sign of somebody, your loved one, that only knows your middle name, because I didn't know what your middle name was. Yeah, Marie. Is and it my a radio mom's name, voice, or? My mom's name is Angie. <laughs> is Nobody. it a radio voice, wow. or is it, is it like their voice? It's, no, it's, it's, it's me sounded familiar to me. Sometimes it, it could sound, sound like them, but most of the time they're going through radio frequencies, so their voice is not going to sound like their voice. It could be a male, sound like a male voice, but it could actually be a female or vice versa. Like Gary has came through and it sounds like Gary. Yeah, but we clearly yeah, heard a Marie. Know. I'm curious to know if we're going to hear a Rebecca Marie in front of it. Now, but your mom and dad's alive. Family calls me, yeah, family calls me Becky. Okay, Becky. So if it was family, they would call me Becky. Okay, but... Friends call me Rebecca. Well, either either I got something attached to me and they were talking to me, or it was somebody wanting you to know, it's me, and I know your middle name. Because I, I had no clue that was what your middle name was. Yeah. The only one that would know my middle name would be Coco. He's messed with me once when he first passed away. Uh, I was sleeping and he poked me in my butt. And I heard a laugh and it was his laugh. And, and then he disappeared. I'm like, but he knew your middle name. Yeah, and I woke up and I wasn't scared because I was, uh, I was like, it, I was half asleep. I was like, Coco, stop it, go home. But you don't think but he I would have? He would prank you by flipping a couch over. No, he would not do that to me. Okay. He's like a teddy bear. But he would poke you in your butt. Yeah, because scare you. I was having a nightmare. Okay. But I knew it was him, and like automatically, like I was like, Coco, stop. And but and when I woke up, I'm like, wait, he's dead. And, like, I, I knew it, but it was comforting. You know what I mean? Okay. So, has any of your neighbors passed? You seen the ambulances here taking any bodies away? I saw an ambulance take a lady over there, but it's because she fell down the stairs. She was alive. Okay. Yeah. Um, Angie wants to give you a card reading, too, if you want a card reading. It's that. up to you. I would love that. Okay. <laughs> um... So we got the past, present, future. I still read out of my book. I'm still learning. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. This right here for the past. This is trust your intuition and suspicions about that certain person. Their doubts are well founded. So that's the past. This one right here, that was weird, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> a ruthless person with little regard for morality. The king squanders his largesse. I hate when I get them and I don't understand them. A ruthless person, like around me? Yeah, could be. Hey, baby daddy. Could be. Definitely could be. Let me have the magician for the future, but it's upright. Sometimes the <clears throat> upside down ones don't mean good stuff, but sometimes they do. This one right here says, ruled by Mercury, the messenger of the gods, a strong man lifts a wand while the tools of magical practice are set before him. It signifies the channeling of life force from above to below. This deeply masculine card suggests powerful energy. The magician has the ability to summon new ideas. But I kind of didn't, like, even ask you anything. I kind of just did it. 
because I was trying to see if anybody had a message for you. I don't know who's in my house, who's watching over me, and who's out to get me, you know? Obviously. Did any of that make sense to any of that? I mean, the ruthless person. But it's not going to give her exactly who it is. The only ruthless person I think is the baby father, you know. Um, and this one is like a strong person, right? Very. It could be my grandfather. But that could be you. It could be me? Yeah. With powers? This is her path. Or no, her, that's her, your her future. future. Her future. And the, the past was what? This right here? is telling you to trust your intuition and your suspicions about that certain person. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the present is telling you that that person's not being good right now. So somebody's warning me about this ruthless person. Mm -hmm. But you need to trust your intuition. And I think you already know what this is talking about. This is talking about... I kind of understand it a little bit. Someone from my past is warning me about this ruthless person, but I have more powers and stronger than they are. Than I can. You are. Yeah. I'm more powerful than that person. You are. and But I think you already know who this person is, and I think you're right. Yes. Because this right here is I, telling you... Because that's the first you, person that comes up to my mind. Well, this yeah. right here is telling you that your intuitions were right, and you knew something was wrong. In the past. Yes. That you, your doubts are well founded. Like you could be onto something. You need to definitely get this checked. And I'm giving you this right here. Uh huh. And there's two of them. So any, if you ever think somebody's doing something to you mm -hmm. or towards I you, you can. This. Yes, you don't have to do both of them. You can pick one of them. But it was just something I already had on me. So if you think that this, what you're <clears> thinking, <throat> these cards are reading to you. Maybe you should read one of them and reverse this thing. Right. But yes, this won't. Don't ever do anything to do harm on somebody because it'll come back I on you. I would never. This won't because it's returning it to the sender. Okay, I would um, never wish harm on anybody. This right here that I just gave you is returning any kind of hex or bad omen or anything. You're not going to put anything on you. You're going to send it right back. <clears throat> to the person that sent it to you okay. is basically what it's doing. Alright, I'm gonna read it. Spell, spell, spell be gone. Back to the witch, you belong. Back to the caster, take your disaster. So mode it be. You heard that. <laughs> Definitely. That was a good reading. I mean, because it all made sense to you. Do you know how weird it is? Like, I understood it immediately. Yeah. And, like, it's just, I've always been that kind of person where I figured it out. It's wow. just like, is this something that's not normal? No, because you're sensitive. Yeah. Because you have it. You can hear like <clears throat> I can hear. So it's just like, I'm not saying is that, that's not normal for most people, right? To get something just so... Not everybody does, no. And like um, open up like that. I just I just feel like sometimes I have happens. something in me, but I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, I'm, I have it. I know what it is, but I don't know how to use it. Sometimes it takes me talking to people. To get them to open up we gotta go to Casadega together. Yes. You and I, we will. I I remember when I was a kid, somebody told me there's something special about me. And I was like eight years old. And I always knew it, but I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And this was a random stranger. Wow. Well, now that you know, you can open up to it more. I just want to know what it is to open up to. But we need to find I'll out. I'll tell you what, just like this psychic medium told me the other day. She looked at me and she said, you're a psychic medium. Did you know that? So I was well, told something kinda. like that. I've been called psychic a lot like, in my life because I, I was able to like, say, well, this, this, and this, and this. And like, how did you know that? I'm like, I don't know. Somebody told me. Mm -hmm. I told her I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, I don't know. I don't know it, what it happens. You. It mm -hmm. happens. And I don't know what I'm doing. And she said, quit trying to figure out what you're doing and just do it. You know, I've always <laughs> had the, the mentality where I can remember everything like vividly from like dreams to past things. Like, I can remember dreams I've had when I was a kid, and I can draw it out for you and tell you what I wow. have a person that interprets yes, dreams. Yes, we do. And she's looking yes. for more people to interpret dreams I've for. been having crazy dreams that's been repeating. Oh, no, then you need to speak to her. You need to email her your dreams. Yes. And, like, and she my will sister's been trying to help it. me out, like, from a book, and we can't figure <laughs> it out. And, like, it's weird. It's like, I look at the sky, and, like, 
it things start falling out of the sky like balloons and it's I'm in my mom's house every time and it's like a big balloon thing but it's every neighbor gets their own like thing and then flowers fall and gifts and wow. then it would come out and then all of a sudden disaster comes and more planes come and they're telling everybody you keep everybody having this back. dream over and over and over yes and it's different different kind of dreams but the same thing happens with the sky and then like fireworks happen in the sky and then all of a sudden the army comes and it's just like the I've had this dream reoccurring for like 10 times already wow but it's different happens differently every time yeah. but it's the same place the same kind of dream and I keep waking up and I'm like dude what the heck does this mean it's the same yeah. dream and <laughs> I'm recording. What's in store for me in life? Okay. I can see that. So we got past, present, future. Seven of Swords. It looks like Gandalf. <laughs> Seven of Swords is the past. A figure flees with five swords while leaving two behind. Your efforts will be partly successful. Perhaps it's time for a new plan. Don't let fantasies interfere with the task at hand. That's the past, though. It's not, this is the present right here, which is the Four of Pentacles. I feel like I pulled that one a lot. This one right here, upside down, means obstacles stand in the way of your material gain. Expect delays. What's your game plan? Your material game. Could it be one of these games you play? Could it be game in life? I just, want, I just want to give my, my new family a happy life. I think you're going to do that. I just think that there's going to be a couple setbacks that... You need to not let bother you. That's now. That's the present. It's saying that there could be a delay. So. You just took a second <laughs> job, right? Mm hmm So, it's another obstacle. You're away from your family because you're trying to make for them. You're going to be a first-time father. Not really an obstacle. That's not really an obstacle. Yeah, it's not really, no. I don't know. Does anything appeal to you? Only you know yourself. You know. Definitely the past. I was like, yeah, it sounds like me. The old me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hermit upside down can represent loneliness. Is that the... And depression. The this is the future. future. Loneliness? It says, beware of hasty decisions. This but is see, your future. It is your future, but... There's always things that you do in the meantime that end up changing that. So, so the the last the, the near future means loneliness. It says it can represent loneliness and depression, and beware of your of hasty decisions. Maybe this is saying if you get a setback, don't freak out about it. Hasty decisions. So it, it, it controls your future. But you actually control your future. <clears throat> your attitude is going to be the way it's going to change that if there is some kind of when, delay or setback. When you have to make a decision, think about it. It's going before to be about you how it. you go about it. That's going to one change way could probably push you into depression and loneliness, and one way could not. I never like when I get cards like that. Yeah. For me, I feel like his is backwards. His is backwards? Yeah, his reading. Because oh, so he that. was depressed and lonely before, and really? now he's out of it. Wow. Because that's how he was. And what was the first one? But then again, if you have been, like, I've had my own issues and I've been depressed, there's times that I still get it again. Like, if something happens in life... I'm fine. Yeah. Don't look at me, I'm fine. I know, <laughs> it's not, but you I'm never fine. know what happens in the future. Everything, like, three years ago, our lives were nothing like this. No. Correct, right? So you never know. In a couple of years, it can completely something can happen that you can be like, God forbid, I can pass away. Don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you say that? I'm just this saying. This right here is usually just obstacles like a warning of what happen. could happen. It's like God forbid. 
something that that can trigger that loneliness. But you can make the well, decision. Well, a setback decision. could trigger that loneliness. Like me, I'm trying to think of how to word that. Me needing to get a job and not finding one, you know, that like pushes me back yeah. into things or her not one thought she was going to get here and find a place to live. And came, Irma and came. took all my money. And we like, ran. And it messed me that up. That was like, a big sat, obstacle because now. Then, this can always change. You control it. <clears throat> you do control it. But if, like I said, if something's been <clears throat> up before and you've had depression or loneliness before, any kind of setback could trigger it. I hope that doesn't give you any discouragement. Just no. handle... I have it's... an idea, but I don't want to say that on camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So Angie is going to go through and sage the house and start at the front door because we don't want it. We want it out. We don't want it coming in. Speak up, girl. Stay out. Go through the kitchen. Buy these kids' pictures. Don't let any harm come to these kids. Or this family. Or the other family that lives here. Keep all negativity away. Leave this family alone. They are done with you. Away. All evil must leave. Yes, all evil must leave. Leave this family Get alone. Out of this house and leave this family alone. Lots of activity happens in this bath, and we are going to do some EVPs in here. I think I might put George in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, Kyle. It's George. <laughs> Get out of this space now. Bless this space. Maybe something's this buried family in here. Alone. Maybe. Under this, because it's, it's always when I'm in the bathroom. It's in the bathroom. This is where her speaker fell off the arm. You're scaring her. You need to leave her alone. As I say these things, so mode it be. It's a speaker. With that was a recording. So and that. It moved. Oh, shit. Word, yeah. Show me where it was. Yeah, okay, so it was all the way right here. Behind here. Just like that with the cord. I was in the shower. It. There's, there was nothing up here. It flew. And it was under there. Oh my God! There's no way. In and where was your phone? Did it stay where it was? Huh? Your phone? No, my phone there? went with it on the floor too. Really? The music shut off, and I thought he was messing with me. Oh my! That's crazy. There's no way so this is just gonna fall like this. It no. was forcefully thrown. Um, wow! And I'm telling you to leave this family alone now. Don't make me come back here. <laughs> and then my phone broke because of it. Oh, that's ash. Yes. From it flying. I'm probably not going to show you. Yeah, I don't care. It smells good. Okay, so we're going to get the holy water and 
spray down the couch. Tell us what all's in that. Do you know? It's water and sea salt that I blessed. Oh, okay. So it's holy water. So we want to do the crosses with that. Mm -hmm. Where's the stuff you sprayed on me? I can't tell you everything that's in that. There was a lot. Okay. <laughs> so maybe that's all you want to do, the holy water. On this the, um, is for the windows. That's for the windows. What's for the couch? We need to pull this couch out and do the back of this couch. What? This couch ain't never going to get flipped over again. Pull it that way. Okay, so we are pulling this out. I think some sea salt should go back there. She's going to spray some holy water back there. Oh, which is that one? That's the sage and all the different scents. Okay. This is her essential oils for protection. Yes. Oh, it smells good too. Mm. Okay. I'm giving this to you to keep. I'd be careful and not spray it on this because I don't know what it might do to this. Mm -hmm. Just leather. Oh, okay. Well, you could probably spray it on that. Yay. And we are going to take this holy water that's blessed. We're going to put like a little cross above the door. So that means that nothing can come in. Nothing can go. Nothing bad can come in. Everything needs to leave. Actually, with this open, this can make everything get out, spirit-wise. You know, see these little crosses? I wouldn't wipe them away. I'm going to let them dry. Let them dry. Turn the light on. Was there a window there? No. Nope. Get that window. Put the cross beside the window. Are you looking at the history? Yeah. Everything must stay out. Your battery's dying. Stay out. Right, I have more. Um, there's one on my side. Sorry, I'm trying to type on here and my nails are not. What store is your little girl's in? The first one? Oh, so on the left. left. That one. Everything must stay out. Yeah, right. We're <laughs> blessing these rooms. And no evil is to enter this house. Sometimes not supposed to do. No. Are we good? Okay. You're good. You didn't do anything in the kitchen though. Here, you go go put one above the pantry. So the holy water should keep the evil out. We are gonna come back and we are gonna talk to Rebecca and George and find out how things go after we leave in the next few days. I think you should put put one on the floor back there. What? A cross. And right back there on the floor. And you sprayed down the couch. Yeah, I can't imagine trying to flip that over. All right. Oh, there's two masters? Yes, it's two masters only case. Wow, I love I this. Two sinks because I like the scarf face tub. Get in, George. Uh, <laughs> Are you going to? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm gonna get Go George in the bathtub it's, instead of. It's my Kyle. bathtub, so why not? It's my... Look, Kyle. George is getting in the bathtub. It's, like, it's my bathtub, so it's all good. It's all... It feels like an abandoned house, but no. <laughs> it's not an abandoned house. There's no crunchy glass. I made him get him one and there was crunchy stuff in the bottom. And he's like, he got in it. He yeah. didn't have any problem. George is in the bathtub. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I had to get that. Had to get that in.
Okay, so how many spirits are in this bathroom with us? spirits in this bathroom. Whose baby spirit is in this bathroom? Bitter spirit. Did you live in this apartment at one time?
All right, well, we're gonna go. Can you say goodbye? We asked you to leave this house. Don't follow us home. Almost every time I say, okay, we're going to go, all kinds of stuff starts coming through. But I heard a bye. Did you hear a bye? Yeah. I heard it too. Yeah. yeah. If you walk in, there is some stubborn. Yeah. Very stubborn. Um, what is that noise? I thought that was one of you. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing noises. You don't mm -hmm. just... No. What was that noise? I kept hearing noises, that's why I keep looking back. I know, I keep looking back too. I thought we shut the door. I'll find out when we watch Did you hear videos. that? Like, a door was opening? I heard it a minute ago. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Let's go see what's going on. Can you help? Yeah. That's crazy. You're welcome. Alright. I hope there's nothing going on out there. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, I can go first if you want. And she can go first. <laughs> What's going on? I heard something. I did too. The doors are locked. Nothing's flipped over, right? Maybe she can go to room. She probably would have gone. No, no. Oh, no they're, they're out cold. Oh. No, oh, what's that? I thought it sounded like a door or something. I don't know. That was really weird. We so you don't know what the uh, the Indian burial ground's name was? That's weird. It says missing burial and it's crossed out. Really? Confused. That's crazy. That's in roll. See, it's like everything is gone. They that erased it from existence. <laughs> Never have Everything been. about the burial grounds where she lives has been erased because she's seen it in the past and now it's all gone. It's got to be something out there. Somebody's had to have copied it. We're going to have to find it. If you can find it, let me know. Yes, definitely. Okay, so as I was walking and taking pictures, the baby store was open. We just shut it back, but it wasn't... We just did EVPs in the bathroom, was hearing noises, but the little girl is in there snoring. So, and when I put the cross on the door, I don't believe that door was open, but we will see when I look back at the footage. That is crazy. And then a drawer was open. We were all in the bathroom. Nobody's in the house. One of the drawers was open in Rebecca and George's bedroom. When we come out of the bathroom, we're trying to look around to see if there's anything else that's been moved. I didn't really pay much attention when we... Yeah, make sure she's okay. Oh, that was scary. Go ahead. I didn't... I, I, I just don't think that door was open. This person, this person truly believes in the Holy Spirit. I'm wondering who lived here before you guys did. And if somebody died in here and she started that spirit box and opened that person back up. I wonder if somebody could have died in here. There's no way to know. I mean, there might be Are a way. Are they supposed to tell you something like that? No, you? they don't have to tell you that. I'm wondering if somebody died in your in your apartment. And it wasn't nothing evil or anything. They just died. They haven't been bothering you until you started. You got a spirit box that started. It's, it's you it's opened that door. It's Halloween. It's and it's October. Halloween month. So you opened the door with the spirit box. And when you open with the spirit box, you need to... Pray before you open and tell it it has to leave when you're I done. Pray. Okay, good. I don't, I don't want I'm just wondering if possibly <laughs> somebody could have died in this house. How long has this yeah. building been here? When I first moved in, I started getting mail for this lady. Oh, what was her name? Something York. Her last name was York. 
Oh my gosh, you don't have a piece of mail. No, I almost returned it back to sender, and like eventually it stopped coming. But it's like she never changed your address. She might have died here. Something York. Her last name was York. We needed to look up deaths in this in this county with the last name York. She could have lived in this house. And she might not be evil, but when you opened up the portal with the spirit box, it could have it could have pissed her off. She could be just she could be a she could have been a bitter old lady that now she's going to get your attention. Or she could be just trying to get your attention. But yeah. flipping the couch over, she could have been a crazy old lady. Didn't think about that one. But normally kids hear things. Your daughter's not telling you that she's got an imaginary friend in there, or no, you don't no. you don't hear her talking to anybody. No, like creepy like that. She <laughs> talks, but like pretend with her toys. That the, yeah. yeah. Have you ever asked her who are you talking to? Yeah. Okay. She goes, oh, I'm playing with Chelsea. You know. Okay. So, cause norm normally well, all, like all kids stories. all kids normally see spirits and then they grow out of it. Some of us don't grow out of it. <coughs> But when they do, they usually say it's an imaginary friend or they something. They think. Right? <coughs> yeah. But it's not always an imaginary friend. Yeah. I think it's spirit. Only if it's detail. It, I would assume that if it's like detail, like you're saying a name or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my son talks to him. My what? youngest. My son talks to spirits. How old is he? He's getting ready to turn 10. And he still has it. He's not going to lose it. He's going to be like us. He's going to be one of us. Little tie? Yeah. 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 Well, like one time I lived in an apartment mm -hmm. and somebody died in that apartment and I didn't know. Well, then one day somebody was telling me about it and I'm like, well, wait a minute. I always feel a presence right over there. And they were like, that's where his chair was. That's where he sat. So I'm telling my son about this because my son's in the room that he died in. And he says, oh, that must be the man in the doorway, Mom. Oh. That's creepy. Yeah. yeah. The man in the doorway. But he always talked to himself. And I'm like, who are you talking to? And he told me there was like seven spirits in that apartment building. But yeah, he's, he talks to them like they're his friends. There's been a lot of people complaining about paranormal on the reviews from this place. From this place. Yes, and it's made So I'm going to look up side. the reviews. Yeah, they said it's bad. And I can copy side. and paste some it's, of the reviews without the saying side. where you live. It's like weird when you walk to the other side and you feel like a heaviness. Like literally right over there. I want to go see the signs over there. It's over probably there? gone. Yeah. Let's go. I'm ready. Do. Let's do it. We're going to go check it out. Okay, so we are going to go for a walk. This buildings were built on top of old Indian burial grounds. So we are going to go for a walk and see if we can find the old sign because since the new owners bought this place out, it seems all the information on the internet about the burial grounds has disappeared. Rebecca has tried. She's seen, she's seen all the information in the past. And she's tried now to look it up and... She's not finding it. It's gone. Would you say it was erased? It was like erased. The only thing that's left is the reviews from the people of this apartment. So we're gonna have to check that out. And um, we're not gonna disclose the name of her apartment for her safety, but we are gonna check out and find out and see if we can see the sign that used to be down here. And hopefully we'll find it. But we are walking on sacred Indian burial grounds. This is a really nice place. They have volleyball net, they have swimming pool, and it's all on top of the Indian burial grounds. And it's really dark, so I guess I'll turn it off till I get somewhere. I heard something. Yeah, that's from when they were doing construction. Yeah, be careful now. Like it's almost like back here, there, there's a big field right over there. Where, where was the sign at? I don't know. The I Indian never, sign. You, never looked for it. You know, you never looked for it. Oh, that's what I was interested in. Finding that sign. But it's been like this since like what the... I don't even know. I don't want to say the year. How long ago would it have been? I'm going to do some more information, so this video probably won't be up for a while. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to try it's to get okay. the EVPs done right away. I don't know. 
I just I was curious to know if there was a sign that told about the place. But if there's new owners, they probably got rid of all that stuff. Yeah, they don't want you to know that. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so it's really dark in the car. It is almost 2 a.m. in the morning. We are headed back home. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And we just left Rebecca and George's house. We believe we got a good investigation there and a lot of stuff to go through to see what all we have. So we are headed home now, but I just, just left her house and driving down the road. So here we go. What's that? Is that person? Oh my God. What is it? Where did they go? What the heck is that shit? There was somebody just standing there. Oh my God. Put this out the window. Or maybe you shouldn't roll the window down. What is that on the ground? Because there was somebody just standing there. I don't know. It looks like clothes. I'm telling you, there was somebody just standing there. I'm telling you, there's clothes all over the ground. I've seen somebody standing right by there. Look backwards and look frontwards. Is there anybody around? No, that's what I'm looking at. And what is that laying on the ground? It is a whole bunch of clothes. They vanished into thin air and their clothes are still there? Are you like, crazy? That's strange. Oh my God. There was a person standing there and then all of a sudden, now there's nothing there but clothes. They vanished. I hope the end of the world didn't come and we didn't get left behind. You know how they say that somebody will be hanging clothes and yeah. one will be taken and the other left behind. Oh my gosh. I know somebody was standing there. I don't even know which way I'm going. You are making a left. That's crazy. And getting us the heck out that of here. That was so scary. I didn't hear nobody talking to me, but I'm telling you somebody was standing there. Turn right on the Florida 50 West. Oh my God. All right, now I'm having a heart attack. I need a drink. Me too. That was, that was weird. You seen them standing there, didn't you? Yeah. There was, like there was clothes left. Like the person vanished and their clothes was laying on the ground. Oh my gosh. And we're like over an hour away from home. So we're going to find a place to get a soda or something. And um, then we have an hour drive home. So peace, guys. I love you. That was really weird. Let me know if you've seen that. Where am I going now? So we have Rebecca's EV. Cut that part out. Cut the whole dang video. Okay. Hi guys. What a good day today. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Actually, it's really hot in this dang car. What, what am I talking about? Cut that part out. Hello everyone. Today I have some exciting things to do. I, 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 I lost for words. I don't even know what I'm talking about. What is wrong with me? I'm human. I'm just like you guys. I go to say something. Well, maybe not just like you guys, because I, I, I forget what I was gonna say, and I'm sure some of you guys are just like that, just like me. But cut that part out, because I don't want that in my video. Cut the whole dang part. Cut the whole dang video. All right, start over. Do it right this time. Okay, so we are going to go do an investigation at... I did it again. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. I'm done. Forget it. I'm not even going to do it right now. I'll do it somewhere else. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. You can get out of the back of it. Unless you just want to sit there, it might be pretty comfy. Might as well, yeah. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to record? Not my fat belly, that's for sure. Maybe record my belly. We can record her pretty little pregnant belly. 